Reef Builders, I'm Jake Adams, and today is such a momentous day because I have finally got all my ducks in a row to drill the bottom, the bottom of this tank. Now, I've drilled glass tanks before, and this is PVC, which is gonna be a lot easier to drill, but let me tell you what the challenge has been. So as you'll see, this is an eight foot Planet Aquarium. The Planet, thank you so much for being patient with me. But we're gonna turn this thing into a masterpiece. So the extra large tanks from Planet Aquarium um, have that high clarity glass, they have the stainless steel frame on the top, but now I, I'm understanding that most of their extra large tanks come with this PVC bottom. So this tank came pre-drilled for one inch bulkheads and you'll see that it's also been routed uh, so that the bulkhead and gasket fit in there super nice and flush. And I have actually had never routed anything before, so a few things had to happen. I needed to figure out how I was planning to plumb this tank up, and I consulted some experts, and we agreed that the first course of action was to widen up those holes, right? Because a one inch bulkhead, that hole looks kind of thick, but once uh, you put the bulkhead in there, and it starts restricting the flow quite a bit. So the inner hole of this inch and a half uh, bulkhead is about the same diameter as that hole for a one inch bulkhead. So uh, let me show you, this is all, if I haven't mentioned this and you're kind of newer to the hobby, this is for what's called a closed loop. So instead of putting any kind of water pumps inside, there's gonna be no water pumps in this, uh, in this tank. That is, that is my mission. There's four holes in the bottom of this tank. And the idea is, basically, I'm going to plumb these underneath the tank and they're gonna be pulling from one hole and they're gonna be blowing out the other. But this is gonna take a little bit of experimentation. And because this is the bottom of the tank, this part, <laughs> I can't emphasize enough. It needs to be executed impeccably. There's no room for error because it's on the bottom of the tank. So if I ever have any problems with the leaking of these holes, it's gonna be a serious, serious freaking problem. So let me show you the closed loop that I'm um, planning to do. So we got these super beefy inch and a half uh, bulkheads, and then that's gonna go into a threaded street elbow. That's called a street elbow. And then that's gonna go into a ball valve. And then one side is gonna go into the inlet of the Vectra L2. These are Ecotech Marines, large largest pumps. We're gonna use two of these. This is gonna be two closed loops. Um, and this is the union right here. So if I ever, oops, <laughs> if I ever need to service the pump, which I will, close off the ball valves, boop, boop. And then I can just uh, undo these uh, quick disconnect fittings and take the pump out and do whatever work I need to do. But for today, we're not plumbing anything. We're drilling the holes because it's so crucial. We're drilling the holes and we're putting these in. So there's two steps to this project. So because the holes are already drilled, that makes it quite challenging because for just about any hole saw, you have a pilot hole that goes in the middle of the material and keeps this nice and centered. But since the holes are still uh, are already drilled, um, I've taken some time and built a jig. And you don't have to build one nearly this big, but I wanted something heavy that was gonna sit flush with the tank. And I've added another layer so that it keeps the hole saw um, plumb. And that's basically a 90 degrees from every direction because freehanding um, has a tendency to maybe kind of go askew a little bit. That's not gonna work when we're trying to have some kind of precision level uh, bulkheads. And I know there's some keyboard warriors right there right now already talking about, why don't you use a drill press? Well, I don't have a drill press. I don't really wanna put a drill press in here. We're only drilling PVC and I'm making this out more than it is, so let's get inside the tank, because as tall as I am, I uh, actually need a step stool to get in here. So, um, I think step one, we're gonna get this in here. Boop. All right, now I'm gonna get inside. Oh, no. I'm gonna do some drilling, carefully. All right. All right, I don't know if you guys are nervous, but I'm a little bit nervous. It's funny, because like I've drilled a bunch of holes, but these holes, are more important than any hole I've ever drilled. So let's get in it. 
All right, it's time to do this. Give it final manual inspection. Mm. Whoa, good thing there's a jig. <laughs> There's a big hole in this egg, man. I hope it feels, feels good. Feels quite right. Let's inspect that hole. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So when this shipped from the factory, it was already routed for the half inch uh, gap. And you can see there's only, it, it was almost the exact same diameter as what I'm trying to drill. And um, it looks like I have just a tiny bit of the routed area uh, remaining, but this hole is like, that is perfect. That is such a perfect hole. Very excited about that. Um, as uh, you probably saw that the, the, the drill caught a little bit. So that's why the double layer jig is important. So, so now with a little bit of confidence, seeing like how it comes out, um, I think we can just go ahead and then uh, drill the rest and then uh, comes the routing part. you guys that went swimmingly I think it was a lot of preparation and practice and building the double decker jig that really helped me get the holes exactly where they needed to be and perfectly more or less plumb and you can tell just by looking at each of these rings that the previous hole is almost perfectly centered in each one I'm very very happy with this and i know there's probably like some trades people who are chuckling because drilling pvc is not hard just trying to get this exact was the most important thing and i think now just this is not even required, right? I just want to follow up with what Planet Aquarium was doing by creating a channel for the gasket to sit in. So it's just really, really well protected. So now I'm gonna get in there with the jig, with the router, and got the perfect bit for it. I've practiced a lot, so it should be no problem to just route out the space that I need for the gasket and then uh, put all the bulkheads in. So let's do that. All right. It's showtime. The bit should just pretty much do all the work, so I'm just gonna take my time and route it out. <laughs> Hand me one of those bulkheads. I think I might have a little bit more material to pull off on one side, but it might be good enough. <laughs> Does that not, that looks like factory made, right? The gasket is exactly the right depth. Dude, there's like no wiggle room now. That is so perfect. All right, now to, to do it four more times. Look how perfectly that gasket fits in there. I think it actually goes like this, but. Whoops. Wow. Wow, I'm so happy with that. Very nice. <laughs> You guys, that went exactly like I hoped, but um, clearly the attention to detail really, really paid off because these bulkheads slipped in with no wiggle room, right? With that gasket inside, now it's absolutely perfect. And what I wanna show you is just how tightly this fits in here. So no grains of sand are actually gonna be able to get into this gasket. And I can even take this, turn it around, and this head fits perfectly perfectly in the hole this this is the best that i can do for 
ensuring that uh, the closed loop system uh, on this reef tank is as trouble free as possible. And uh, now we can really, really begin to start working on this tank. I think I have all the plumbing that I need to install the closed loop. So the next video from this tank, we're gonna be hooking up those two L2s leveling the tank, which is gonna be a major pita. Um, but then we're gonna put some water in it and just see how much of a washing machine this thing can turn into. So thanks for following along on the build of this uh, 400 gallon uh, aquarium from uh, Planet. Uh, again, I wanna thank the guys for being so patient with me, but now we are uh, cooking with gas. This was the most important, crucial aspect because I haven't done it before and everything else will be um, things that I'm familiar with. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop some comments, make fun of me for my lack of routing experience. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.